the spectacle that had happened. A line in the Passion narrative that you just heard, people had gathered with the spectacle that had happened. So look at me a moment, look at the people that were in the scene. What did they believe about Jesus Christ? You have the two thieves on the cross, one certainly revile them, save yourself and save us. The other one, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus promises them that they, that day he will be with them in paradise. You have the Roman soldiers, it was just a job, get it done, get out of here and you know, just keep going. No belief in Jesus Christ. It was a job. Nail them to the cross. Hang them out to dry. We're done. Keep moving. Keep the peace. You have the scribes and the Pharisees. You know, this prophet's talking too much. We want to get rid of them. You have those that shouted, crucify him. You have those that stood on the side and pondered and wondered. You have the women of Jerusalem that knew who he was. You have so many different characters and actions going on in the midst of that, and so many thoughts that could gather are, are, are coming together on this. You probably even have the person you know, wondering, you know that rooster that crowed? Wouldn't that be a good dinner tonight? So you have lots of things going, where are we in the midst of all this? What is our belief in Jesus Christ? What, is our walk, what will be our walk this week through his death? Um, or through the Last Supper, through, him, uh, through his death, the agony in the garden, the death on the cross, to the resurrection. What will be our thought in the midst of us? What character will we be in all of this? Or will we have just simply chewed on our bazooka bubblegum, which quickly loses its taste, tossed it, and moved on in life? I challenge you, take a moment now. Where are we in this crucifixion in this holy week, and who is our Lord?